Greetings Laddingtons, today I want to explain why women disdain or uh, dislike nice guys. Now what I mean with nice guys is not someone who's a gentleman, I am a gentleman myself because that's how I want to present myself to the world, to myself and to my ancestors, that's just what I am. And obviously I am a kind hearted light and I'm the sweetest possible man to my own beloved. But what I mean with nice guys is someone who complains to the world and to others that oh you know all these women they only go for these bad guys or these chads etc whereas they themselves think that they do everything right. Now this can be explained by the following so I don't claim in any way shape or form to be a Casanova so we're approaching this from a evolutionary standpoint. So if you have a daughter or if you have a sister what kind of man do you want her to marry and um, reproduce with. Yeah, obviously someone who is uh, has a good standing in the tribe, so high status. It doesn't be, need to be the tribal chieftain, but someone who is part of the tribe, someone who is a respected male member of the tribe, someone who has a good reputation. And that guy obviously is supposed to be able to protect the woman and also to supply for the woman. So these are the sort of things that are important for the woman. Now we also have to take another thing into consideration here is that in the sexual market there is nothing such as equal. Either you're above a woman in hierarchy or you are beneath her. If you're beneath her it is very unnatural for her to perceive you as a uh, potential sexual partner or a potential partner to reproduce with. And remember here also that in the perfect world female promiscuity is very limited or perhaps doesn't exist for the absolute majority of women save perhaps a few fallen ones. So keeping this in mind it's obviously important for a woman to go for the single, for one single guy and the best possible guy. And I will make a video especially for women later on but in this case I just want to explain why women do not appreciate nice guys. So if you have a nice guy and he says oh I've done all of these steps to woo this woman to get her into bed. I have bought her flowers and I've done all of these favors for her. I've signed up to her premium snapchat. Uh, okay no that's a joke. Um, you can watch my other e-thought video I made. Um, but that being said like women obviously can't make a decision who they will give their immortality to based upon a few favors or based upon a few nice things. So if you really think about it, it's in a way very manipulative of these nice guys to do all of these favors to try to act as a servant to the woman to get her to give up her immortality to him. Uh, so it's a very dishonest, very manipulative, very unmasculine way to go about trying to woo a woman. So on one side you have a guy who does a lot of things. He, uh, he does favors to her, whatever those favors might be. On the other side you have a guy who just is. He is a force of nature. He presents himself as someone who is worthy of giving your reproductive system to. So, and then obviously if a woman perceives on this side a basically servant who's just trying to appease her at every turn, or she sees a force of nature who goes after what he wants himself and who is a valued member of the tribe. Now obviously which uh, will she go for, the force of nature or the servant? So the nice guy then who is trying to get into her good graces by doing all of these favors, of course she will uh, despise him because why would she want to reproduce with someone who she perceives as being lower in the hierarchy? And of course she will perceive that if she goes along the path of being uh, a servant all the time trying to do favors to her. So I would say that nice guys they are very manipulative uh, and they're not particularly nice at all and yet again I'm not talking about being a gentleman and being kind. Always be very polite to women and be respectful in that manner but uh, these sort of nice guy attitudes they uh, absolutely are incongruent with the glorious pill. The glorious pill if you take that then you build yourself up to a force of nature. You don't do things for the sake of women. You present yourself to the world and to yourself and to your ancestors uh, and then Hopefully women will find you attractive, but it must never be the other way around. You must never do things actively to appease a woman. So if someone says they go into the gym to get jacked to uh, attract ladies, I say, you know, this is the wrong attitude. That can be a good side benefit, but you do this to, uh, to become a monster and then, yeah, then you get a lot of other rewards perhaps. 
but it must never be based upon uh, having a little list that you go around, oh, now I did this nice thing to this woman and now I did that. Because obviously females are very socially perceptive. They pick up on these little things. So if you go around with a mindset that, oh, if I do this little thing now and then that little thing, then maybe she wants to sleep with me. Obviously they pick up on that sort of mentality and yeah, it's not something that is attractive or glorious at all. Uh, just think for yourself, if you had a, if you have a sister or a daughter, do you want her to go with the sort of man who plays this sort of manipulative game with her or do you want someone who can take care of her? So I hope that explained at least a bit why nice guys aren't particularly nice at all and why women do not appreciate that sort of manipulative uh, behavior. So in reality, Chad is the good guy and the nice guy is the bad manipulative one. So I hope that was informative. XOXO, boom.